Hello, I'm here with a haircut that I extremely hate. Look, I can't even look at myself. I can't even take myself seriously. Um, I went yesterday to someone that I don't ever really go to um, because usually I get my haircut by my sister, but I'm like, should I go? And I told her I wanted it shoulder length. Already you can see mistake number one. And I wanted like face framing, like little layers so that way I can have like a little shoop, you know? I should have known by the way she was cutting it that that's just not what was happening. Like this, this shorter one isn't really even how long I wanted it. I kind of wanted it to start here. Thank goodness she started it there. But then all the, the layers are back here. Why? And then it's just so choppy. Like there's like, look at this. That is not... And then I have this one random short piece over here. I put um the hair by my ear back. And now look at this. When I just... Look at this. What is this? Tell me why. I think she really wanted it to be straight at the back. So I see her grab her razor. She shaves the back of my neck. What? My sister's a cosmetologist. And even when I've tried um to go short or something she's never shaved my hair even when that time that i cut my hair before like around quarantine and i it was it was probably this short honestly the girl who fixed my hair never shaved my head i hate it so much back at it again at the rpg oh my god just finished the vaginal ultrasound I was not prepared for that. It honestly could be very triggering because it's just so invasive and so, oh God. I'm waiting for the doctor so we can go over the um, ultrasound results and my lab results, which I'm fully, I already know what she's gonna talk about, so. Next is for Alea and Alea is also getting $50 this week. Good morning, it is may 12th i think um it is like 9 9 30 and i've been up since like 7 but i was doing stuff on my computer i was finishing a movie i was watching last night and i'm like oh the girl needs to get up because she has a lot of errands to run and i kind of want to put on a little makeup so i'm shaving my mug because I have too much peach fuzz on my face. So I want to update you. Yesterday I went to go get my first vag ultrasound. And let me tell you, that is very traumatizing. It's very horrific. I don't recommend it. <laughs> so anyways, I did that. Then I went to go see my doctor. I was really scared of what she was going to say and everything. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but last time my blood pressure was like 144 over like 90. And I'm pretty sure it was because I was anxious and all that stuff. But this time my blood pressure was more normal, it was like 122 over like 80. So I know I don't have high blood pressure, so that's great. So she comes in, like I paid like 120 something dollars for a doctor's visit and she was in there for like five minutes. So that's where all the money's at. So get yourself a medical degree if you want $120 per five minutes. And she's all like, how's everything going? How's your period been going or whatever? So I explained to her that it started up again. And so she's like, so basically, based off of your ultrasound, um, your everything looks really good. Like there's, like there's nothing there fairly. The only thing is that my endometrial layer, which is just the top layer of tissue on your uterus, it's super thick. And she says it's super thick considering I've been on my period for a very long time. And I'm like, okay. So she says. I need to put you on birth control so you can shed all of that lining. So she says she wants to put me on it for like three months. And then after those three months, I have to go in to get another ultrasound to make sure everything is normal. And then if the light, if the tissue didn't like go down or whatever, then she says that I need to get a biopsy. And I asked her, sorry, I'm taking out all of my hairs. So I'm like, okay, so what happens if a... The, the tissue didn't go down and she's all like so we're gonna get a biopsy and that means you might have endometriitis which is just like inflammation of the tissues and 
or it could be some sort of like cervical cancer or utero cancer, whatever. And I'm just like, oh my God. And it's really scary, not gonna lie. And she says based on my labs or whatever, that I do need to see an endocrinologist, which I understand. Um, but unfortunately, all these doctor visits are gonna run me dry. So this is how my makeup looks in the daytime and the brightness and I did do my hair a little bit even though I still hate my hair so much but it looks like I'm going out somewhere but I'm really not you know it's giving me those vibes even though I'm wearing black sweatpants I'm wearing one of my scrub shirts like um, one of the ones that I wear underneath anywho um, other than that I think the makeup came out pretty good it is blazing over here in Georgia. It's 82 degrees. That's spicy. There it goes. Say goodbye to babies. Oh my god, I didn't even swallow it. There we go. Um, here they are the baby killers. I am nervous that it's gonna cause like some sort of <sighs> issues. Like I'm scared I'm gonna break out. I'm scared it's gonna make me like gain weight or something. But um, you know what? Let's just go, let's just go through the motions, honestly. Hello. Um, Riverdale is playing right now, but this is what we're doing right now. I'm gonna wax cause these pits, Ain't it, sis? I bought this in the middle of April because I want to start waxing my arms at home because these waxing prices, man, they expensive. I look ridiculous, but I had to change my shirt into something that I can get to my arms easily. And now you'll be able to see my arms in all their huge glory. My arms are one of my biggest insecurities, so Please bear with me. So let's go ahead and unbox this. This kit is from Amazon. I think I paid like $60 for it. Um, And it comes with a lot of waxing thingies. Like one, two, three, four, five. So that's really nice. Um, And then it comes with the huge, uh, the huge waxing warmer. I'm gonna take this off. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. You won't be able to see it, sorry. And then it comes with pre-wax spray, cleanse and moisture. And then it comes with the after wax spray to moisturize and smooth. Oh, it removes wax residue. And then it comes with some bamboo sticks, which I actually already do have some of these, so it's good that it came with it. And then it comes with this ring. I don't know what that is. I'm really nervous because I did use the wax before and I actually still have my waxing kit, but it's the it's thinner wax that you need the the waxing strips for. And I was like, I'm tired of freaking spending money on these waxing strips. So um that's why I was like, nah, I'm not doing that anymore. Um and so I'm like, I feel like hard wax is way better. So I'm gonna put the temperature to max, which is 257 degrees. Okay, I'll use peppermint first because I don't like peppermint. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I think I'm gonna put them all in there because why am I gonna put little by little, you know? So one of these bags fills it up a quarter of the way and I'm excited to see how long this will last. Oh, I think this is so you don't get wax on the thingy. Gotcha. But what am I gonna do when I'm all done with these? I don't know. So what has happened is I got my mirror. I think my wax is 
at the consistency it's supposed to be i already it already completely melted which i was really shocked that it didn't take that long Ooh, and i like that the whole thing doesn't get like really hot i'm guessing it's just this part so basically i put it to the max and then once it was half melted i stirred it and it like helped get it fully melted and then i lowered it back to like 160. i'm gonna go ahead and do this pre-cleansing oh that's after and i just grabbed a towel that i had around here and i'm going to just spray this towel and just clean myself. So I honestly don't have as much as light or dark hair as a lot of people because I have waxed before. And also um, there was a point in time where, um, I don't know if you can see all these scars right here. There was a point in time where my deodorant was irritating the crap out of my skin and it would cause me to get honestly like cysts and they will, I would always pop them or they would drain or whatever. So. All right here, I have a bunch of scars where hair does not grow. So honestly, hair just grows in this little section right here, not my entire armpit. <laughs> and honestly, my hair is really thin. So because I have been waxing for quite a while. So there goes that. So once it's melted, I feel like there's not like a lot on there. So I'm just going to go like this and make it run down a little bit. I hope it's not hot. Oh, it is a little warm. Uh, there we go. I don't think that was thick enough, guys. So I'm going to add another little layer right here. Whew. And it's supposed to be until it's, um, this dries very quickly. So be careful with that. And it's supposed to be until um, it's like not sticky, which is now. Okay. Oh, maybe up here it's not dry yet. And honestly, to me, this doesn't hurt at all. Ah! Ah! Ooh, never mind. Maybe it does hurt a little bit. Ah. It's taking my hairs out, but it's also... I just think I didn't have enough. I did this strip too short. Okay, so <laughs> my strips are really sad. They like were completely torn apart, but let me see what I can show you. Do you see that? Ooh, this is hot. I'm gonna try to add a lip on here. This is definitely going to take some getting used to. I definitely think this is really hot. So be careful with that. Once again, tears. I'm going to use this after wax or whatever and I'm going to spray it on here and I'm going to use that. I'm going to put in another one of these. So I'm going to turn this all the way up and I'm going to do it, whatever, because it has to be done. So let me go ahead and get started for my, le my last pit. So I'm going to do some of this pre-wax um, stuff, clean my arm. I hope this is not scalding. There we go. That one wasn't so bad. So I'm gonna try. Ah! 
That was really good. There it goes. I think it's just too bright. Look at all those beautiful hairs. I definitely think scooping it, like scooping a lot, definitely helps. And I try to, I'm gonna try to keep it at the tip of this. It's hard to do it with my opposite hand. Oh man, I wish I had like an arm here. That wasn't so bad. Let's see, as you can see, here goes my hair. And I have been letting the wax sit here for a while because I've been watching the Amber Heard case. And it is a lighter consistency. So, like as you can see, before it was like dripping everywhere. So I said I did it up, so now I'm going to do it down. So I, while I'm waiting for this to warm up a little bit, I did look up and like a whole pound, I believe, which is probably all four of these bags of wax is $11. So that's actually not that bad. I'm excited to see how long this will last me because I feel like this will last me fairly long. Although I don't think I'm going to get it to where it's this thin. I'll probably always want it to be at least, at least this high. So it's probably two bags. Um, so... I definitely feel like there's still plenty um so i think this will last me quite a while honestly so hello so um i just realized that i'm pretty sure the waxing stuff is going to have so much footage so i'm just gonna leave it like that i'm just gonna say thank you so much for watching um i had fun doing that and i'm about to actually start filming another video another like Honestly, at this point, at this point, I can't even call them vlogs because I just really like doing like what I do in my life kind of videos, you know, just like, what am I doing? So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to start doing. I have a lot to do. I've been procrastinating for too long and I must get things done. So yeah, that is the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, the waxing kit will be linked down below just in case anyone wants it because I thoroughly enjoyed it. My armpits haven't gotten irritated from it or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about it. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!